Third and two. Burrow hit on the release. It was Kendall Fuller and now Burrow, oh boy, clutching his left leg that they're looking at and Burrow in obvious discomfort. Burrow's teammate, we're not going to show you the replay. It wasn't pretty. It certainly looks like something substantial. They got to keep this guy upright and healthy. It was irresponsible what they did last year. They should have protected Joe Burrow. If the Cincinnati Bengals don't draft an offensive tackle, they should be disbanded and revoked from the NFL. They cannot go out on the field this year unless they draft an offensive tackle, Panay Sewell, with the fifth pick. Right now, I have Cincinnati at a 6 and 11 record. That is one game below the Steelers for third place. So I do still have the Bengals in fourth in this division because of that injury, because of the just uncertainty surrounding Cincinnati. If we truly, truly care about this Ohio native, this kid Joe Burrow, make sure he goes anywhere but to Cincinnati. The Cincinnati Bengals are an embarrassment. Uh, they're just a horrible, horrible franchise. And I don't want to look at Joe Burrow and find himself in that kind of desolate situation. I think it's bad. I think it serves to, I think it would serve to contaminate him. You know, I've been, I've been told I wasn't good enough since recruiting. I had one offer after my junior year of high school and it was my dad's team. I wanted to go to Nebraska. They told me I wasn't good enough. I can see it even on your face right now, those slights. I remember all my all the recruiters' names that, that told me no. I remember all the Elite Eleven guys that got chosen over me. So I remember all that stuff. I keep a mental log of it. Everyone talks about Joe always kind of having a chip on his shoulder, you know, from the time he was 14 or 15, proving himself. You know, I, I think it's being built up again. And here comes Cincinnati and his, you know, quote unquote hometown team and people telling him he can't win there. It's just, it doesn't get any better. You know, it, it's, it could be a perfect fit. I think Joe has had to fight all his life and he's willing to build a team and willing to go through adversity if he has to. Nothing was promised to him here. He came here and, and built a championship team and I don't see why not he couldn't do it in Cincinnati. For Cincinnati, and going deep into the end zone and caught by Chase! Burrow floats it, Chase down three. Oh, got it! Hit him in stride! Like I said last week, first of all, Joe Burrow is a top five quarterback in the NFL. Absolutely. There is not a single quarterback under the age of 25 that I would take over Joe Burrow. I think he's that special of a player. Can't find anyone. And now he fires downfield to Jamar Chase. He's got it. Oh. And takes it Toots on the move. Blocked by Williams. Long pass downfield. And there he goes. You see it. Second down in four. Burrow back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Flings it deep down. Ah, the got him. Over the shoulder. Catch made at the 32. Burrow's going to throw. Floats one. And over to CJ Uzama. Fighting his way down the sideline. Burrow runs it himself. Prepared me at all. And a block by his college teammate. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, I'm in year two. Who knows what's going to happen down the road, but I didn't think it was a necessary comment. Was it on your mind when you were throwing at the end for 525? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but every year we have segments, contenders and pretenders, and I got to put the pre in front of this team just because I don't see enough. Building towards something special. It's still going to 
to take a few more years. That's my expectation. You know, certainly I'm tired of losing. Um, we put in a lot of work and, and believe in the players that we have, and the coaches we have, and um, certainly expect to win a lot more football games than we have. That's the standard that we have to set going forward. Here's the big thing. I also thought it was a mistake to take a receiver before a left tackle. But now we're starting to see early returns. If you have potentially Joe Montana and Jerry Rice, right? Like, they're putting up... As, as a rookie, as a second-year player who didn't play a lot because he got hurt, and a rookie, they're killing the game? I mean, if you look at Joe Burrow, he never blinks, right? He never flinches. And I think that's what we've seen from Joe Burrow, that whenever he needs to make a play, right, he's so locked in that he can do whatever he needs to do in those critical football moments. Cincinnati, with a win, would take the AFC North. First ever matchup between Mahomes and Joe Burrow. Look at that move. Look at Chase go! Oh my goodness, what a gear he just found! He's going for the end zone. Chase! I'll take that! Touchdown! Right over Ward! I love this right here! It's Chase! Chase! There is no Chase! It's a touchdown! First down, Burrow. Here's it out. To Higgins! for the Bengals isn't to win one playoff game, it's to win the Super Bowl. And in this week's Who Day conversation, we're going to give you three reasons why the Bengals are capable of making a postseason run. Lap, you go first. Well, I think a very obvious one is Joe Burrow and the way he's playing. I asked some of his teammates, some of his veteran teammates, how does a young guy do that? Because the quarterback has to be the leader of the team. How does a guy establish himself as that kind of leader in such a short period of time? And Tyler Boyd, their wide receiver, said to me, look, it's not hard when he comes in with the same kind of chip on his shoulder that the rest of us have, when he works as hard as the rest of us do. That makes it easy for him to slip into that role. It's confidence, RC, and it's authenticity. The guy knows yeah. who he is. He's comfortable in his own skin. Yep. The stuff he says is not boasting. He truly believes it. 31-year playoff gap between the Dolphins fans in Cincinnati are hoping that today is the day. They've waited more than 30 years for a playoff win. Bengal fans hope this is the day that three-decade wait comes to an end. Okay, go home, bro. 39, Burrow's throw it is caught. Chase, great job dumbing the feet to get that second toe down. Third goal for Burrow. He throws it to the end zone, touchdown! That's what I'm talking about, baby! The season comes down to this, in his car end zone, intercepted! Cincinnati! 
tomorrow, like Michael Jordan and all the greats, use anything they can find, doubt, to motivate them. I don't think Joe Burrow can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Patrick Mahomes. That is not an insult to Joe Burrow. I like Joe Burrow. I like his style. I like his swag. I like his confidence. It'll be somewhat shattered this weekend when he gets, you know, beat by a couple touchdowns. But Bruce Sard, no. He can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Patrick Mahomes because oh. nobody can. Chiefs, three for three down the field. This is why you lift all them remotes. <laughs> in your home to just keep on watching and then maybe if you click off the game because you're so upset thinking this is never going to happen and then it don't. Samaje Piran taking a short pass 41 yards. Back to throw. Screen pass. One even catch by Mixon. Nice.